world my name is yola and welcome to this video welcome to my youtube channel i recently had the recollection of the term come to me of it being a queen mindset for those who have never heard of the queen mindset i feel like it is best described by a few different people on YouTube. I have heard it from, I will list his name somewhere on the screen so you guys can know. There's also a woman who embodies the energy very well. And I believe her and her son, I watched their interview with another intelligent man as they spoke about the queen mindset. They are more qualified because I feel like they have been studying this longer than i have if you've clicked on this video i want to share where i'm at with my transition into adapting a queen mindset in my previous videos when i say previous videos i mean within the last three to five videos that i have created one of those i talked about how i'm no longer thinking like a hoe Sometimes I feel like I'll be buffering and I'll be trying my best not to slaughter and dog out people because I know that I'm not perfect. Yet, there are a lot of things that I just personally don't agree with and a lot of things that I just haven't liked and I don't think I ever will. So, that's all I will say. Now, I've been adjusting to living in this new country of Puerto Rico for the last two years, literally. I am over the two-year hump i believe it's been like two years and two months fully of me living in puerto rico so i'm heading towards three years and i have learned so much this culture is so different from what i have been used to i originally lived in the states so here in puerto rico from my perspective it's very touchy it's very lovey-dovey there's a lot of fakeness and pretend and you have to perform and you have to at least if you are a part of the culture and you want to be accepted in life there is this this sense of respect in a way which i kind of think of as pretend you know because from the states it's like it's okay for you not to be the nicest person. It's okay for you to be a bitch. But it seems like here, you being a bitch is a problem. And if you are a bitch, it could be a good thing or it could be a really bad thing. You know, it can go either way. The culture here influences the way that people move, the way that people think, the way that people act, the way that people do everything. I also feel like it influences the way that the women dress, the way that the men think, the way that relationships are operated the way that people move like it's a completely i don't want to say it's a completely different ball game it's just like anywhere else in the world yet for me it's just an adjustment there are a lot of things here that don't align with my morals yet there's a lot of things here that do align with my morals another thing with the culture that i really struggle with is like the over sexualization like, I'm so tired. As a woman, I feel like there's this normalized feeling and understanding that we develop through our life experiences that results in us understanding the potential of us being viewed as sexual beings anywhere we go, period, right? So with that understanding that baseline understanding i understand that i'm beautiful because i'm a woman literally that's if that's the only reason and we carry a certain type of energy which attracts other energy like i i'm at a state in my life where i'm operating and trying to understand things on an energetic level because everything is energy and i embody and emit a certain frequency and type of energy which is the feminine energy now that doesn't mean that i don't have masculine traits and i don't emit masculine energy as well i do i do both yet on the grand scale i am aligned with feminine energy right 
which does influence everything. The way my life works, the way that things work for me, the things that happen, you know, I end up in situations that are so beneficial to me that if I tell another man or if I tell a male friend like, hey, this happened and I'm like, this is so cool. Something great happened. Like I got this thing for free. He's like, for free, for real? I could never get that. And I'm like, why? And he's like, because I'm a man. They would make me want to do this. They would have to. They would, you know, it's just different. It's just different, basically. Recently in my journal, I have been writing about who I am becoming, who I know myself to be, who it is that I intend to be, and the life that I plan to live. I write a lot, so I'm grabbing my journal right now so I could just share with you guys. Basically, I've been feeling frustrated because I feel like a rarity here, right? That's not to say that I feel like there's nobody like me, no. I feel like I'm struggling with aligning with like-minded people, in a sense. Like, I feel like, I'ma say this, I want marriage for myself. I desire marriage. I deserve marriage. I will be married happily and I will be fulfilled and I will be blessed and elated to invest and be fully with one being. Okay? No cap, telling the truth. That's what I've always wanted. Like, ever since I was a little kid, living in the States and watching all the fairy tale stuff, the truth is, I feel like I never really wanted the fairy tale per se. I never really wanted the fairy tale story. What I wanted was the relationship, right? I wanted the you get this one person and it's you and them, and that's it. I still desire that, and I feel like being here in this environment in this climate like everything in me especially being this far into my celibacy journey i feel like when i started my celibacy journey i can't even lie to you i didn't know how long it would last and i'm very surprised to have reached this far for real Cause when I started my celibacy journey, I think I honestly started it for the right reasons. And I started it to heal. I started it because I got tired of like, feeling like I was experiencing the same thing and then not knowing why the same thing was happening. And feeling like, is it me? Or is this something outside of me? And through this journey of celibacy, I've realized that it's a little bit of both, right? It was me searching for this person, like I'm telling you guys, like I desire marriage. So when I would date somebody in my mind, I'm thinking, I pray that this was long term. So basically I'm fully allowing myself to get to see all of this person and to like see like, is this the person for me? Is this what I want? Is this what I want to commit to? What I want to stick to? What I realized is like when you sleep with somebody, like it definitely doesn't help you see clearer. For me, for me, it did not help me see the person clearer. If anything, I felt like it. It took my my car that I was driving on the track. It took it off the track. Like I felt like it made things so much more difficult for some reason. It's like, you know what I think it is? I think it's because what I'm realizing, looking back on my experiences, is that when I would date somebody, right? I would show up as the best self that I could. And of course, they would show up as the best self that they could. Now, those best selves are our representatives. <laughs> and over time, your representative gets tired if that's not who you truly are or if that's not what you're able to maintain right so then you are able to see more of who this person actually is see other sides 
of this person, right? They, of course, they're going to come with the freshest haircut. Of course, they're going to come with the best hairstyle. Of course, they're going to come with the best aroma, best outfits, all this stuff. But it's like, if that's not how their status quo is set, you're bound to see their bummy days. You're bound to see their flaws. You're bound to see the crust under their eyes and all that that human regular stuff. And I am somebody, I want to see that. I need to see that. I need to see that from whoever it is that I'm going to be with long term. Like for real, I need to see you. And I need to see you from all around and I need to know what it is that you really are so that I can know within myself if that's what I'm willing to accept. I have always been a person who wants to see everything about somebody, even my friends, even my friends. I feel like growing up in the States, a lot of people didn't understand me in that sense because they're like, dang girl, like you're so nosy. And it's like, yeah, I'm, a part of me is nosy, you know? But a part of me is like, I'm really caring. Like, I want to get behind that mask that you put on. I want to, like, dig deep into your heart and, like, really get to know you. And I'm not doing that to harm you. I'm doing that so that I can love you. And because that's the way that I want to be loved. Like, that's the way that I believe we all deserve to be loved. So, yeah, so I feel like when our representatives would show up in these dating stages, right, then it's like your representative is showing up for a month and within that month if you are to get intimate and have sex with somebody then it's like i feel like it just shifts the entire relationship i don't care what anybody says based on my experience based on what i've seen in other people and their relationships i feel like a lot of people i'm gonna say people i feel like it happens to men too where a man will know what he wants, he will have his plan set and let a girl come that look good and she want to give him the pussy and he felt like, oh yeah, like she looks so good, she got all these good quality, ah, ah, she's sticking around me, da da da, da. he know he want a wife, he might still just fuck her because she's right there, like, she look good, she's there for the moment, da 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 da, da. and he might even say the words to her like, oh yeah, like, like let me see let me think about it all this stuff and it's like he might know in his soul that the moment he saw her that she was not his wife yet he's like while well, i look for my wife this is what i'm gonna be doing right now and he may end up in a whole relationship and be with this person that he knows he doesn't want to be with because of sex like i'm gonna be real like because of sex and that scenario can fit so many people but then I want to flip that scenario and do it the other way around where a woman will know what she's looking for, right? She knows that she's looking to better herself. She knows that she's looking for stability and structure and honesty, trustworthiness, and this long list of things, you know? I believe I've seen so many different videos that say, make the list that you want for your partner and then ask yourself, are you that list? And I can truthfully say, that I put in a lot of work <laughs> to be the list that I am looking for in another person. So I know, I know I'm the list at this moment. And I know that I can be better. Like I know that I'm constantly learning and I'm improving and I'm not perfect. Yeah, I know that I'm the list for real. So when I approach dating, right? I know what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for that person who aligns well, naturally, and easily with me, period. It, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't really require effort like that. And if I'm efforting too much, I just say no. Mm -mm, that's not it. I don't got to try. I get to be because I'm enough. And the person for me will know I'm enough because I know that they're enough. I feel like when I would meet somebody and they would show me their representative and within the first month I would sleep with them, then it was like, even as the representative would slip away and I would start to see flaws about them, I'm a 
very non-judgmental open-minded person i'm like okay i'm learning more about you but like like is this really you or is this like a moment like i used to be younger and i used to be more naive i'm talking like a long time ago at this point it's like I'm talking like over five years no i'm talking at least at least five years ago my point is i felt like having sex with somebody it would change the trajectory of the relationship so it's like if i am in the mindset of hey like i want to be in a committed relationship right which is oftentimes what it is that i was pursuing when i would want to date somebody like that's what i wanted i want the title i want us to be committed i want us to be locked down i want us to be me and you and if i'm feeling you and i'm trusting the, my flesh and i'm feeling this lust and i go ahead and have sex with you then it's like oh yeah like in my mind as a woman you know the majority of women's mind we're like oh we're building towards something like this is going to be consistent like this is going to be my partner like this is going to be something major like this is this is it but what i've had to learn is that just because i think that way doesn't mean that the other person thinks that way and i've had to learn that actually the other person never thought that way and that sucked that sucked so hard enough times of that at least twice i was like yeah no there won't be no third time being no charm like i should have learned the first time but you know i was young and I thought maybe it was this person, not knowing it was actually people and it was me and my mindset and where I was at. And the fact that I was listening to words and not necessarily looking for actions. I didn't really know my power and the fact that I could move how I want to move. And if that person doesn't like the way that I'm moving, then they're not my person. And I just got to let them go. There's so much stuff that I know now that I didn't know before. And it's just... It's just so crazy sometimes i feel like i feel like a whole new person and it's wild for real recently as i've been in this country and you know i'm in my 20s i'm with my friends who are in their 20s and sleeping around seems to be so normal that it's just like it seems to be so normal because it's normalized, because it's everywhere on the internet, because it seems like everybody's doing this. And then I'm in this country where like, man, I don't even wanna just talk about all of that, but just know that like, I don't think it's normal to just sleep around with mad people. Sure, there was a time when I thought it was until I stopped and I've been on this stop journey and I'm realizing like, hmm, yeah, like I actually don't have to do that. Like, and I actually don't want to do that. By observing those around me, what I've been realizing is the importance of me being myself, being true to myself and being my own leader. In order for me to reach where it is that I'm going, where it is that I want to be, that I have to lead myself there. Right now, I feel like I am so on track to getting to where I want to be because of the way that I'm thinking and the way that I'm moving at this current moment. On 529, May 29th of this year, I wrote that I'm ready to lead myself to where my soul wants to be. Deep truth, I've always wanted a monogamous, happy, faithful marriage with one person. Puerto Rico is a lot and I'm proud to state that I've done a fantastic job of standing my ground. I don't really want to have sex before marriage. Yes, I would love to have a great, equally yoked, very fulfilling sex life with my person. Yet I need more than sex. But thinking back, I truly would have chosen differently. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say this. Thinking back, I truly would have chosen differently about my virginity if I had different people around me. Right? I'm realizing that the people around you really do influence you and they have the power to do so, especially if you don't know yourself and the power within you. I won't be hoeing around and I don't want to be influenced to do so. I wrote that down, but I literally was just telling you guys that like how I have friends who just sleep around because they feel like that's the way to fulfill themselves. And even when they're not being fulfilled by it, they just keep doing it. And in my head, I'm like, why the hell do you keep doing this thing? Like, that's another thing too. I was having a conversation with this man recently who is a hoe, like, and he knows he's a hoe and we joke about him being a hoe because he's a very grown man. Like he's close to 45, older than me. 
he enjoys it. He enjoys being able to get women, and that's all he talks about. He's like, oh, women, 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 women. And I'm like, yeah, like, you know, go, do what you're going to do, right? Because I can't stop you, and I can't teach you because I'm a woman. I feel like I would best be able to teach other women. He doesn't get how how worthless how worthless he has been he has been treating himself or how worthless he must truly feel within himself to find bragging rights and ego and praise in stating that he has slept with multiple women as a woman who has transformed uh, over these past five years of my life, right? When I look at a man and a man tells me, I sleep with all this woman, all I think to myself is ill. Because if you can sleep with all of these women, that means you don't have any value to me. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not an intelligent person. That doesn't mean that you're not a kind person. That doesn't mean that you, there isn't more to you than that. Yet, I truly believe that the way that you do one thing is the way that you do all things. So, with that being said, you going around just sleeping around and having sex with all these people, there's multiple areas in your life where you don't, where you're not valuing yourself. And I, I don't have the time to sit around and look at your life with you and show you the areas in which that's also showing up, yet it's true. It's true. You're not investing, you're not building, you're just going around and just, you're being instinctual. We are created in the image of God. And I say that because essentially we are created in the image of being better than our instincts. We can choose to be better than the instinct that we initially have. That's what I'm saying. Like It didn't say that we are created in the image of animals. And a lot of people love to talk about how we are animalistic and it's an urge and all these things and i'm like be better than your urge choose better think i ended up writing i was like i am old in a sense and serious as i'm intentional about attracting what god has for me I already know I'm desirable and my ego is stroked daily. That's not enough for me. It doesn't fulfill me. I don't recall exactly at what point in my journal I ended up writing. I felt like I had this epiphany one day where I was just so frustrated with everything that I was seeing in my reality in terms of like how my friends are moving and then like the fact that they aren't understanding me in certain moments. So as they're moving crazy and I'm young, right? So I understand them moving crazy. And I even have moments where I have urges of wanting to do the same thing. Like I'm literally not perfect. Like I'm human. Like I have my moments where I'd be like, oh my gosh, that person looks so fine. Like I want to do this, this and this and that. But then I'll like go home and I'll sit down and I'll be like, okay, even though like I had those thoughts of what I wanted to do, like, am I actually gonna do that? Like, no, absolutely not, I'm not. I'm not even gonna move in that direction. In fact, I'm gonna figure out why it is that I wanna do that. Where is that coming from? And I realized that part of it is, is coming from who I'm hanging around. At this current stage of my life, I don't really have married couples as friends to help me be led into that covenant into that group at this moment yet that's where i know 
I'm wanting to be. That's where I will be. That's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be married. Shoot. What I ended up having to write to myself is the fact that I'm a wife now. That's the difference between me and the other people, women, men who are single. Like, I truly believe I'm not just the single woman out here looking for a good time, looking for pleasure and a moment. Like, that's not me. I'm a wife looking for my partner to build with to have our home together, to be honest with, to heal with, to go to therapy and to get to know each other even more with, to travel. Like there's so many things that like I really want to do. And at the moment I'm doing my best as I can by myself, yet I felt like I would be able to get so much more done if I had an extra brain and person and I feel like I would become a person that I've never met from receiving love in a form that I've never gotten true openness trust vulnerability friendship family community those are things that I want for myself in my future. Those are things that I intend to build. And when I say build, I mean strong, immovable, long lasting, even after I have gone from this realm. I ended up having to just write, I'm a wife now. And as a wife now, I'm focused on doing the things that I need to do to take care of myself, to be the best version of myself that I can be, and to continue to succeed. So that when it is time for my union, that I'm as ready as I can be. I forgot exactly what conversation we had, but I remember I was talking to somebody and they were like, oh, like, do you know how many people you'd be able to like sleep with? And I was just like, I don't care about, I really don't care about that at all. I don't care to know, I don't care to experience, and I don't care to find out at all, at all. Because it's so uninteresting to me because the way that I view myself now is I feel like I am so valuable and I am so worthy and I am such a queen that the idea of me being shared what what the what the heck what does that even mean like what does it mean to have multiple partners like let's be for real let's be for real everything is energy what does it mean to have multiple partners and to be exchanging their energy for your energy and mixing and that sounds like drama that sounds like a mess that sounds like chaos that sounds like death that sounds like that doesn't sound like building that sounds like dismantling that sounds like destroying that sounds like decaying like what at least that's how it feels to me and it even got to the point where i think somebody was like you know trying to talk about the benefits of hoeing and how popular you could be and all these things and all these benefits you could potentially get and i was just like bro it sounds like you're a piece of meat like literally it sounds like you're a piece of meat that's being passed around like it's so weird i just feel like it, it it's devaluing is what i'm trying to say like i feel like we are so valuable that like just sleeping around with people is so devaluing and it's it's really not beneficial, for real. Like I, you could tell me all the benefits. And if you wanna tell me all the benefits being materialistic or that the benefits are boosting your ego and your confidence somehow, or that, you know, 
they do all these things these people are so great i don't care if that's what you believe then do that do that because this is me this is my stance this is my belief this is what i'm seeing and this is what i'm understanding and i'm not with that like i'm not messing with it i don't i don't want that like no thank you no thank you 6 17 june 17th of this year i wrote realizing i've been continuously practicing and exercising a queen mindset which means because i know my value i can't allow everyone to have access to me i am worthy and selective not worthless and easily accessed it's a position that i find difficult to teach to a generation who thinks fucking everyone you find attractive and those who find you attractive is normal when it's actually stupid and immature why because there will never be an end to the fucking you'll never run out of attractive people but do they all deserve you do they all cherish you do they fulfill you or are you only a moment are you a piece of tissue that they throw away after they wipe their ass yes you are once they've satisfied their ego instinct lust or temporary emotions they are on to the next hit the next drug the next stupid person who doesn't value themselves that they can find. It's easy. It's easy to find a person who doesn't value themselves. The term attractive doesn't even hold as much value as it once did because people will sleep with people for any reason. So this attractive could be materialistic. It could be momentary. It could be energetic. It could be the aroma of the person. The point is, it could be anybody. And there's so many bodies on this earth that you can never run out. You can never run out. And if you just think it's fun to go ahead and rack up all these bodies and to mix yourself with all this stuff, and then you wanna wonder why your life is a living hell. You wanna wonder why like things are not working out for you or it seems like you're going in circles and circles or it seems like, like life just keeps getting harder and harder and you're not understanding why things are like that. It's because of the way that you're moving, bro. It's because of the way that you're moving. It's the way that you're treating yourself. It's the way that you're thinking about yourself. It's the way that you're handling yourself. It's the way that you're allowing yourself to be handled. And I kid you not, this reality of ours will show you who you are, right? And who you are is based on who you are being, how you are acting, how you are moving. All of that matters. All of that matters. Another thing about queen mindset is realizing that you need boundaries. In order to have anything, you need to be the person who does what's necessary to have the thing they want. So in order to be valued, you need to value yourself. You need to act like you value yourself and move like a valuable person. Without value, things lack importance. Without value, you are powerless. That's literally a couple days ago that I wrote this. Like that's where my mind is at. That's where I'm like, like yeah, like this is making sense. Like yeah, this is real. I'm at the best level now that I've ever been on this queen mindset journey and i'm continuing to nail this queen mindset into my head because i feel like it's one of the things that i'm going to be teaching throughout my life is queen mindset marriage union building investing in yourself in one other person so then your union is like a cup that overflows and it takes care of those around you. I'm over here talking like I'm a professional and I just have this 
belief and this idea in my mind of like the power of you maintaining a clean mindset and you aligning with other people with similar mindset to the one that you have who want the same things that you want and teaching those who don't even know that they want the things that you want what it is that they have to do in order to get the things that they want because people really don't know i think we become so influenced by those around us that we think that we're doing the right thing not knowing that what you need to do is the opposite of what you've been doing if you made it this far in this video i love you lots thank you so much for your time comment down below and talk back to me i really want to have a conversation i'm low-key like a loner i make these videos because i really don't have i don't really have people to talk to about this stuff for real like i i watch this stuff i research this stuff i believe in this stuff i'm adapting and i'm changing so quickly and there's so much around me yet i feel like such a I feel like such a a unique woman and not to say that there aren't other women like me or there are other women who value themselves i'm just saying i ain't seen one up close in person in a minute and if i seen one we don't really hang out long enough for me to like to talk this deeply and to really like connect and see how else i could improve and like to see that my theory is right now, regardless of having those people, when I look at various relationships where people are faithful to one another and they build with one another, they are very successful. They look fulfilled and happy. The woman glows in a way that I intend to glow in my life. She just... She's a different type of beauty. She's a different type of beautiful. She doesn't give all her attention to all these peasants and all these people who want her attention because people are always going to want your attention. It's normal for people to want your attention. People are always going to gawk at you. People are always going to compliment you. People are always going to be there, which is why I find it so important for us to value ourselves and find one other person to value and then just focus on you and them it's i feel like that's that's the easiest thing to do that's the way to become fulfilled you become fulfilled by pouring into somebody who is pouring into you where it's like this beautiful flow and you guys are growing and learning and getting better and bigger and more expansive and you're changing and evolving i just want to be married <laughs> clearly if i was ready right now god would have you know put the ring on my finger and i would be i will be thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Peace.